We talked about what the Falcons could do at four that could have a big ripple on the rest of the top ten. At least that's what you're going to talk about. It certainly is. A dramatic effect, and that's really what the Falcons are looking at here. You know, obviously we talked about the number three overall selection. It's going to be fascinating to see what the 49ers choose, but number four could have as much of an effect on everyone else in the top ten. And do you know who you are picking at number four? And if so, when did you come to that decision? The draft starts at four. Should it start at four with a quarterback? You're sitting high in the draft. This is a really good class of quarterbacks. We don't know what's coming down the road. Let's get the quarterback before we need to so now you can develop him. We always assume that they need a quarterback, but it has to be the right quarterback for that team. In Atlanta, let's just say these top five quarterbacks, they may only like two of these guys. So if that guy is not there, the quarterback that they really love, then they should bypass it and take the best player available. Regardless of where you are at, at your starter, we know exactly, we're so excited about Matt Ryan, but we have to evaluate every one of these quarterbacks, not just for now, when you think big picture, if you have an opportunity, like for example, Trevor Lawrence, when you have an opportunity to see that player in person throw, then you have to take advantage of that. Even if you're not gonna have an opportunity at him this year, you don't know what's going to happen three, four, five years from now in the future. So you want to take advantage of that in-person exposure, and that's why we see every single one of these quarterbacks. Well, you go through a lot of contingency plans, and we have in the weeks leading up to the draft, and you certainly got to prepare for any kind of surprise that comes your way. I mean, there's nothing that says they have to take the players they're predicted to take. Picks one, two, three, so we have to have contingency plans and obviously, you know, listen to any offers that Anybody gives us a great offer and we, we, we potentially want to move back. Well, the, there's still variables involved. So we know the players that we would be discussing there and, and we can all anticipate the first three picks, but it has to actually happen. And then from that point, we have to weigh the options in terms of if we trade back and compare it to the player we could get it for, or if we trade back, what would be the values? San Francisco has submitted their picks. Atlanta is now on the clock. select Kyle Pitts, tight end, Florida. So, the player from Florida that's atop so many people's draft board is the best prospect in this draft, period. We, uh, we're very excited uh, about our pick today. We coveted that player for a long time. His, his skill set, the talent is, is clear. And, what he's going to bring on the field and also he's a tremendous young man that every exposure every opportunity to talk to him and spend time with him and, and all the research he's just in a he's he's got high character 
I don't think there is another A Kyle Pitts. Uh. I think this guy is an alien, Kyle. I okay. think he came from some other world, and he is a tight end that we have not seen in this draft process before. The highest drafted tight end in history, and when you hear that, what does it mean, and what does it mean to be Atlanta Falcons? It means everything. Uh, to be even drafted in the top 10 first round is, is something special. So to be the highest ever, that's something that you know no one can ever take from me. So yeah, I, I appreciate it. The feelings, big man, when you got the call and you knew you were going to the National Football League. Uh, when I got that call, my heart dropped. You know, I've been dreaming for this since I was a kid. Take, take it all in, bro. Take it all in. You earned this. Experience the whole thing of walking across the stage and shaking the commission's hand. That's something that every kid dreams for. And for me to live without, I was I was really excited. And I shed a couple of tears. Congratulations, babe. You earned it. We're about to pull up. Yeah. This is perfect for what Arthur Smith runs in his offense. He's a mismatch nightmare. And most importantly, he runs that tight end set just like Steve Weiss just said, with Janu and with Ferkser being so good. Now it's Hayden Hurst and it's him. It makes a lot of sense. There's going to be some really good football players selected. They're going to make up the heart of the roster, and there's going to be some really good players that emerge. And, and uh, it's exciting. You can look at, at the history, and there have been successful players in the first round. There have been successful players in all rounds throughout the draft. So we have to work hard, which I know we'll do and which, which we have done. So again, our pro staff has put us in position with the players we've been able to sign to take the best player on the board, and that's what we plan to do. Come on, Chris. Help me out. Let's go, George. Come on, George. We're you got it. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll get it in. OK. We'll get it in. All right, thank you, George. Richie. This is Terry Fongo in Atlanta. Come on, man. <laughs> you want to be a Falcon? With the 40th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Richie Grant, oh, yeah! defensive back. UCF. Hey, yeah! Butch, tell the people here what you think you can add to the Falcons and so forth. A dog, short and sweet, man. You're gonna get a dog. <laughs> I'm ready to work, man. I never thought this could happen, to be honest with you, but I'm forever grateful to the Atlanta organization, man, for taking that chance on me. You about to get a playmaker. 68th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. The Atlanta Falcons select Jalen Mayfield, guard, Michigan. You get okay? The Atlanta Falcons select Darren Hall. Defensive back, San Diego State. Happy, I'm happy to be a Falcon. I'm a player. You'll see. You see the tape. Well, that's a pick six, perhaps. Darren Hall, yes, he does. Drew, how you doing, man? Thank you. This is, this is Terry Fontenot in Atlanta. Thank you. 230? Yeah. OK, well, uh, you want to make it Falcon right here? <laughs> you good with that? Atlanta has made their pick. Yeah, I'll see you on the spot. Atlanta Falcons select Taquan Graham, defensive end, the University of Texas. Ogundeji, linebacker, Notre Dame. The Atlanta Falcons select Avery Williams, Boise State, Williams. DB. Across the 30, across the 35, oh. and Williams oh. crosses the 50. Avery Williams does it again. Touchdown, Boise State. Brandon Harvey, how you doing, man? OK, well, listen, we're going to make you a Falcon right here. But I want you, I want you to know. Look, look. 
<laughs> but the emotion that was going through my body at the time, it was just like I was on the phone. They tell me like you want to be a Falcon. I'm like, yeah, I want to be a Falcon. Y'all see, I got the red on. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Enjoy the day. Yeah, Extremely excited about the, the six picks today and, and the nine picks overall. I, I think we have an exceptional group of young men, and, and, and there's a lot of what you look for from, from coaches, from scouts, is passion and conviction. You, you want to bring in players that you love, and, and we love this draft class. We'll have good competition. The best guys will. will will start and earn their job. So that's the best thing we could we could do here is to add competition and depth. I like their draft because it's a draft that says we're not building for the future. We're, we're adding these guys, want them to play now and compete right away with Matt Ryan. Yeah. The best relationship he has with the quarterback. Yeah. He's like, you got to build that trust. Yeah, that's got to be a safe about it. I'm excited, man. Yeah. Oh. This is it. You guys are tearing out his first picks. Yeah. But you got the foundation. We really believe that we brought in guys that not only are good young men off the field, but they are passionate and, and really love football. And, and we're excited about them bringing that to, to this organization.